What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of an emperor scorpion. Let's begin today's lesson by blocking out the basic shape of our drawing. We move to a side grip using the flat edge of our pencil. Let's sketch a circle along the bottom of our page. Starting right here, it's gonna work our way around towards the bottom and then bring that back up towards the top. Now we're gonna draw the top edge of the body going out towards the tail. Let's start from the top of the circle. Start by going straight out towards the left. And we'll start to bend that up. Now we're gonna round out the tail and then bring that back down. Now let's give some thickness to the body. Starting from the end of the tail, it's gonna go a little bit wider as it come around towards the side of the tail. And we'll bring that back down towards the bottom of our circle. So we're going wider and just pulling that in. Now you wanna separate the tail from the body. So starting right here, start with a straight angle line coming down and it will separate the body in half. Halfway along this line, going across the body towards the front. On the bottom right side of our circle, add a smaller circle for the edge of the arm. And then from the center of that circle, curve the arm coming down and then out. Let's draw another circle on the end of the arm, starting up here, going all the way around and then back up. Let's tuck the back arm in behind the head. So from this point, we're gonna step up, curl this up and out, and we'll draw a smaller circle on the end. Now going back to the front arm, let's add in the claws. On the right side, angle this up towards the top, go back to the inside, curl this down and then out. Let's pull the claws back in towards the side of that circle. Coming in with a straight line along the top, and then we'll round out the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the back arm. Starting on the right side, going up, curving the bottom, and then from the top, angle this back in towards the circle, and then round out the bottom. Let's place four small circles along the bottom of the body for the socket of the arms. We're gonna start down here, start with a small circle, and leave a gap, draw that again. Let's add two more along the back side. So one up here, and then one along the back. Now let's block out the shape of the arms. Starting from the center, angle this down towards the right, curve across, and then down. Let's move over and do the same thing. Angle this forward, curve this out, and then down. Now on the back side, we're just gonna angle this across towards the left, come down towards the bottom. And then finally, one more time, angle this back towards the left, come down, and then just bend that out. Now you wanna separate the tail into four parts. Let's start halfway along this curve, just add a straight line going across, separate this bottom section in half, and then do the same thing along the top. Let's draw an oval on the end of the tail, coming down and then back up. And then on the bottom left, draw that hook coming down and then in, and then taper that back up. Now that we have the basic shape of our drawing, let's add a second level of detail. We're gonna start on the left side of the circle. We're gonna curve this in and then up, and then bend that across towards the outside. Let's add some thickness to the front arm. Starting from the center of that circle, curve this down and then out in behind the claw. Go up to the top, go across, and then bend that up. Let's go to the right side of this line, come down from the claw, curve this down and then in, go up to the top, curve across, and then down in behind the head. Now I'm gonna add some thickness to the legs. Starting from the outside of that circle, curve down then in towards that bend, go to the right side and do the same thing. Now we're gonna do the same thing to each of the legs, coming in towards that bend.
Now it's thicken up the bottom of the leg. Starting down here, it's gonna trace the outside of that line coming down, go up to the top, and it'll just close this off. Now let's add some shape to each of these sections. Starting from this line, curve this down, and then across towards the end of the tail. Round up the second section, and just repeat this down towards the body. Let's add some sections across the top of the body. Start from the side of that circle, go straight up, leave a gap. Now I'm just gonna to start to angle these up towards the right as you go out towards the left side. Now the last three legs are gonna bend back over towards the right. Let's start from the top of the circle, angle this down and across, go up to the third, bring down, and then the last leg. Once we're happy with the basic shape of our drawing, we're gonna go back in with a tip or pencil and start adding some details. Let's start with the top edge of the head, starting from this point, it's gonna add a little bit of shape and then refine the detail. Just going across, now this is a center seam of the body. Just pull that forward. And we'll round up the back edge, going up towards the top of the body. And just going across the top. I'm just gonna add a fold in the center top of the body. Just pulling this across. And then tucking the back side in. Just adding a couple layers underneath. And then from here, just gonna work our way over toward the left side, just layering each of these sections underneath. one more towards the end of the tail. Now we're just gonna move over and start adding some detail to the front arm. Starting with the socket. And then just separating the arm. across the bottom of the arm towards the claw. Now we're layering the claw on top of the arm, and again, just adding a little bit more shape and definition. Adding a few points across the bottom. across the bottom. Now detailing out the back claw.
now we're going to go back and just layer the rest of the head underneath that front claw. Separating the sections of the legs coming down toward the bottom. working our way across toward the left. And finally, the last one. Now from here, just working our way around the perimeter of the tail, starting along the base, and just adding some more shape around the outside. Now we're going in with the side edge of our pencil and just adding an even shade to the body. And this is going to help reduce some of those guidelines to the side. Now we want to create some highlights and shadows inside the body. So we start in the center of this front section, just darkening this up, and then coming down towards the bottom. We're going to add that highlight along the top, so we're just going to fade this up. And also fade that down towards the bottom. Go back with the tip of pencil and just clean up that shadow. The 
Just adding a thin ridge along the bottom edge. Towards the left side. Again, just adding that shadow and glare and fading up towards that highlight. Just going to darken up the bottom of the body, starting along that upper edge, coming in toward the legs. I'm just going to fade that out across the body. Now from here, we're just going to work our way across the front arm, starting with each of these sections. So adding a shadow across the bottom and fading that up. And we're also going to vary up the tones to create a little bit of contrast. And then darkening up the center of the arm. And just fade that up towards the top and bottom. I'm just going to darken with that back claw and come back and add some shadows and highlights after. Now the claws get darker as we go up towards the end. And we'll just blend that in. I'm going to go back in and start darkening up the legs.
I'm just going to lightly shade in the center of the body, going around the legs. Now I'm just going to add a shadow across the left side of the tail, starting with the first section. And then just blend that out as you go towards the center. And it'll darken up the right side and do the same thing. So just adding a highlight in the center of the tail. And then we'll repeat those same steps across each of those sections. Final step is to go back in, just tighten up our shadows and detail. I'm just casting a light shadow underneath the body. And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll add some fur and a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Emperor Scorpion. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.